Have you ever wondered how to get parallax into your images and throw them onto a video timeline? Well, that's what we're going to learn today. With the power of DaVinci Resolve. So, in Photoshop, for parallax, I want to separate these elements into new layers. So the first element is going to be my grandpa right in the front. Uh, the second element is going to be the deck here. And the third is the background. So how do we do that in Photoshop? Well, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to go up here and grab the quick selection tool. Got them selected. Right click layer via cut and now we have him cut out of the scene of the scene and he's cut out of this one so now we're gonna click on here on here and we want the fence so I'm gonna do the same thing uh, quick selection I'm just gonna draw now I have the fence selected right click layer via cut I'm going to rename these fence subject so now I have three I have the I have the foreground middle ground and background so now to repair the background what I'm going to do is Go up to my clone stamp tool, hold alt, and clone stamp this away. Okay, now that looks like something. We have a fully restored background. We'll add the fence, we'll add the subject. Now for the fence layer, I'm going to do the same thing. And that should be enough. It's going to be covered anyway. So now that I have all these frames, I'm going to export each one individually. Right click, export as, PNG. We're done in Photoshop. Now I'm in Fusion. So we're going to right click on the media pool create new fusion composition we're going to open that up now in fusion there's a few different ways we can do this let's go let's try the first way i'm going to import those uh first one i'm just going to do the background and i'm going to merge it on top of a background node so i have the background input i'm going to merge by clicking and then we're going to transform that. Now it's resized to our timeline. We're going to do the same for our fence. We're going to add a transform node. And transform this sucker. like so when we're at our subject now we recreated our image so to add some parallax to this clip we're going to keyframe these transform nodes so we're going to start at frame zero and i want it just kind of zoom in a little bit We're going to zoom in at different rates for each one. So we're going to start here. We're going to keyframe the size and the position. And we're going to go to the end frame. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger and move it over a little. See what that did. 
So kind of, it's just kind of zooming in. We're gonna do the same for the fence. I'm gonna start at zero, keyframe the size in the center, and then we're gonna go to the end and move it. It's a little much, just a, just a tensy bit. It, uh, see what that looks like. See how they're kind of moving at different areas. And then our background. And now let's get, uh, let's see what we're doing here. So now we have parallax between all three of these layers. And it adds more depth than you would just do with a, a zooming in on an image. And it's not too hard to do. Biggest thing is just separating your layers in Photoshop and then coming into Fusion and animating them. So, pretty neat.